Let's just say if you're wearing an Affliction t-shirt or you have a photo of you with your wedding ring on, <laughs> I don't want to go out with not you. Good. She found someone she'd already gone on a date with. It's kind of complicated. Like, we don't know if we're active. I'm not sure how to add my favorite. I could barely get a profile picture up there. And let's be honest, there's not too many normal photos of me I feel like it should there. be easier than this, but yeah, we're going for it. We're doing it. Oh, there's a guy I know right there. <laughs> Men, we know you're on there. I'm a little irritated about this. Me too. Let's just. You guys are eHarmony, right? E yeah, eHarmony e makes you think about your entire life and answer a lot of questions that, for me, I wish all my friends were answering instead. Yeah, absolutely. Literally, it's like someone could write my biography after this. <laughs> Did you put, did you put, I like to snort in no, your profile? I didn't, but you know what? If I find it like in the next three hours when I'm finishing my profile, <laughs> like... What's our, what's it going to be called? Dating. I don't think it's going to be dating 101. I think it's going to be oh. dating like... Summer of fun. Summer of fun. Dating summer of fun. Yeah. And what did, Sorry. what did your eHarmony just tell you? <laughs> I need to slow down, tiger. <laughs> my answers are starting to look too, too much the same. <laughs> And you only wanted to do a mileage radius of how far? 45 miles. I, mean, <laughs> Just, I can't drive to see you in an afternoon. That's why I'm against this whole thing in general. I'm real getting less of Well, it's day one, and I want to quit. I don't know who you have making the matches with me and what kind of crack you're smoking. So let's say no to the men who have their shirts off taking selfies. I'm depressed. <laughs> and it's day one. <laughs> oh, normal, where are you? It's a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you get these emails and it says so-and-so wants to meet you or so-and-so just smiled at you and you realize he's virtually smiling at you. <laughs> not from across the table, not in real life, on a dating website, that's when it gets real. I'm gonna go on a date with this guy, we're gonna go grab coffee, kova or crema, in case you know those, and I'm missing in a month. So I've never really tried this online dating thing before because I figured I would probably hate it. And now that I've actually tried it, I realized that I really hate it more than I thought possible. And I went live and immediately felt like I had just climbed on top of a bar put the spotlight on myself and asked random guys to hit on me. So I pretty much grimace and gag every time I open my email. I'm trying to be a team player and keep an open mind. And I actually took a big step this morning by emailing a guy back. He seems pretty normal. And I think I might email another guy back tonight. So that's my progress and we'll see where this goes. All right guys, it's day four of online dating. It's about 12.15 on a Friday night. And here I am videoing myself in my room alone talking about online dating. I mean, not something I necessarily thought I was going to do at this stage of my life, but here I am. And, um, and so I think like for the first week, my recap, I have filled out my profile, which is a huge step. Um, but I do not have an open mind quite yet. Um, I think it takes a lot of work to come home from work and fill out multiple choice answers to these questions and feel like you're actually getting to know someone. Um, but we're going to try to have an open mind. Come on guys, look at that profile. I've been contacted by a 59 year old who said he was confused by my profile but optimistic. I started emailing with one guy who actually seemed pretty normal and he made a comment about my photos. I said, oh, those were from 15 years ago before I gained 100 pounds and started losing my hair. He and I are not talking anymore. I got matched with a guy who said he was 25 and I'm pretty sure he's 11. The other girls seem to be getting matched with people and so I felt like maybe I needed to put myself out there more. So I just started winking. That's like what you can do on match, is winking at a bunch of guys. I felt like a little wink slut last night. <laughs> um, and then today I got contacted by a guy who was um, on a trapeze in his photos, so I winked at him. <laughs> Day six, online dating. Went on my first date today. Um, it was really funny. A, I almost threw up on my way there because I'm thinking, this is everything your mom tells you not to do. You know, meet men in chat rooms and go meet them in person because that's a good idea. Um, but I'm alive, so hey mom, it's okay. I show up and there's this guy who is super awkward and about 200 pounds heavier than the guy I'm meeting. But I couldn't tell, like he kind of resembled him and he was looking around like he's looking for someone and I thought, 
Oh no, this is who I'm meeting. You know, we're just really doing this eHarmony thing. It's gonna be awesome. My plan was to be asleep an hour ago, but I've been uh, spending over an hour just emailing back and forth and responding to messages. I'm a bit overwhelmed by how much time this takes, but you know, I guess that's how relationships are, of course. They take time and effort, but it's just kind of uh, discouraging and frustrating that it's a lot of time with a screen. Anyway, I did set up my first date for later this week, so hopefully that'll be a fun face-to-face -face interaction. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but for now I'm gonna go to bed. It's day eight and I still have a date, so I'm feeling like a little competition here. And I feel a little weird asking these guys um, questions and I feel like they should almost be pursuing me over the internet and it's just a weird, weird feeling, a weird dynamic. It's day nine and Nicole stopped by my office. Um, this is why she's having to go out in public now because Every time that we're out and we see men, we're like, are they on Match.com? Yeah. Are they on eHarmony? I swear I recognize so many people. <laughs> I know. Seriously, I think we've looked at like three million profiles. Like, I, there's so many guys that have pictures with girls. Do you have that? Yeah. One looks like a wedding photo. <laughs> Day 11, and I just got back from my actual first date from Match.com, and it went pretty well. He was normal, and it was good conversation, so... Um, but you know, then there came a time where I thought, you know, we're both on Match.com and that's why we're here and this is just kind of weird and I'm entering this new phase of the online dating where I'm actually meeting up with these guys and going on dates. And at first it was a little bit easier because it was compartmentalized and I was just keeping it online with emails and now it's the actual encounters and he has my number and might be calling me. It's kind of weaving into my real life, which is kind of odd. We're about halfway through our three days, which I totally thought I was gonna have a date by this point, but I don't, which makes me feel pretty awesome about myself. Please note the sarcasm. Sarcasm here. My preconceived notions about this online dating experience haven't been proven wrong um, quite yet. However, there is one girl who is doing this alongside of us who actually has developed a crush on a guy who seems like a very realistic potential for her. <laughs> Um, and seems like a really great guy actually. So um, I think on that end of the spectrum, it's slowly but surely kind of changing my mindset about this experience and how it could potentially work. I got an email today that, I don't know if you would have told me a few months ago that I was gonna get, I probably wouldn't have believed you, which just started out with, you winked at me and I winked at you and so here we are. <laughs> yeah, that was the opening line. Um, but I will say, I do think eHarmony is kind of pulling out in front a little bit. Um, they, you know, at first it was really bad, but both of them are, I feel like, starting to pick up on what I like and don't like, and so the matches are getting better. That's probably why people say you have to stick with it longer than a month. So look at me being positive, Polly. Still makes me want to puke a little bit. Here we are, and I'm emailing with this guy still. Same guy, he lives pretty far away, but. He's writing these words that are just awesome and inspiring and sweet and kind and thoughtful. And all I can think is, this is not real. There's no way this will ever be anything. Why am I wasting my time? And the reality is, it's hitting me. It's, it's that it's not tangible. He's not there in front of me. He's not this human that I know and can smell and see and touch. He's this like thing on the other side of the screen. And so I'm trying to learn to have faith in something that's unseen, right? That's a big struggle for us humans. So, um, yeah, I think the Lord's teaching me a lot. Actually, I was at this concert last night and the guy, the musician on stage, asked the audience, he said, has anyone here ever tried online dating or willing to admit to it? And there was like this one crazy guy in the corner that said yes, but you know, no one else was about to admit that they might have tried it. And I wasn't about to say anything to the people at my table, but on stage the guy said that he had tried OkCupid, um, and I don't remember what the point of his story was, but in the small group of us that are trying this together, I'm realizing it is um, good for vulnerability. It's making us open up and talk about our challenges and struggles. Can someone tell me why 22-year-olds are on dating websites? They've got time, okay? Leave space for the old and desperate ones. I was just reading one of my creepy matches where a guy emailed me today and said, uh, I don't have a date for the fourth. I think we would make a good match. You're very pretty. And as I was reading that, 
very hard. I can pretty much finish it and said, I'm currently dateless, so I just thought it'd be a great way to start. <laughs> if you're interested, please let me know soon. Happy How birthday. do you eat Monday? Kareem! Simultaneously, the exact same message. You ready to read Which it together? Which is going to say, Hi, Hi Kareem. Super stoked for the fourth. <laughs> Already <laughs> have plans with my good friends. Hope you have a good week. Fireworks! Yay! Suck it, Kareem. Some of us girls were together last night just talking and saying how it's kind of exciting when you're just sending emails and starting a relationship, getting to know each other, maybe going on a date. And then we kind of had this reality, it could turn out to be heartbreaking and really hurt you. And the reality is most likely it will, since there's only one person that it's actually gonna work with. That's just a tough reality to think about that rejection. Day 20, and I've yet to go on a date still. I wanna just let you know that one of the guys I was matched with this week um, definitely was wearing heart shapes, pink sunglasses. So keep praying for me. I am Sarah, Joy's sister-in-law. These are my observations. A lot of creepers. She said that she wants to go out on this date with this one guy because he's the only guy that's offered, and I was like... You don't need to share that I've only had one guy offered. <laughs> Do you think people should online date? Sure. <laughs> Um, I have to say I've kind of trailed off a little bit. I mean, I keep looking, but I'm getting pickier. And, well, again, I say picky, but nobody's really reaching out to me. <laughs> but like I've said, um, the upside to this is that I have gone out on a number of dates with people who are like, we got to know somebody for joy. Um, so I've been out on three dates this month. And my hashtag for this year is stay open 2013. Husband, online or not, you're out there. I just got home and I'm sure this is probably illegal, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you who just winked at me on Match.com, just to give you a little bit of an idea. Uh, if, if this is, this is your grandpa, um, I apologize. Let's go see his profile, shall we? Let's see what I'm getting myself into. He's in the logging. I, I, and maybe is a serial killer. I don't, that is scary. 